to the connector before I splice it. I'm gonna connect the MC cable to the beam, so I'm gonna measure it down so I can see how far I can cut it. I like being outside. I like being physical. I just don't think I'm an office type of person. Right now, I am actually supporting my whole family um, by myself. My kids, they look up to me because they know I work out in the industry. And when they see me like this, they know that mom is going out there to work and bring something back for them. When you're done with that project, it's an accomplishment. You were part of that whole building. When you pass by, you say, hey, I was a part of, I was a part of that. I think it's incredibly important to having women in the trades. These are great careers with great wages and benefits. Um, it's not for everyone, but uh, most women don't even know about the opportunities about getting into the trade. So Local 11 makes a tremendous amount of effort to try to recruit women. I think as the chief executive officer, I have a responsibility. Uh, and I think I'm accountable to make sure that this union is open, inviting, and supportive of everyone, and especially women. I got in the trade in 1976. I didn't realize at the time that I was going to be the first woman who got into the program, but I was. And um, that was the beginning of a fantastic career that has enabled me to support myself and my family, and it was the best decision I've made in my life up to that time. I started my apprenticeship in 76, and uh, there was only two of us women at the time in our union and it was a little scary. Now, I see some of the young women coming in and they're fearless. They just move forward, they state their opinions, they get involved, they, they take actions that took me years to work up to. I want to graduate at the top of my class at, of apprenticeship school so that when we turn out as journeymen that I'm at the top of my class. To be a foreman, you, you definitely have to have some leadership ability. So through the years, as you're going through the, the apprenticeship, you start to develop that. You pay attention to how other foremen act and what they do. The general foreman, to me, is a little bit different because your responsibility is over so many people. So there is, to me, a little bit more of a transition from foreman to general foreman. But it's, it's definitely satisfying. One of the be best tools I have on me is my side cutters. I always carry those with me and screwdrivers, just because you never know what you're going to need on the job. You know, and then when you do find that you need to cut some uh, tie wire and to be able to put, you have that tool on you. You talk to the guys and you treat them, you know, you treat them with respect and, and usually get the respect back. We're all here to do one thing. We're all to get this job done and go home safe. I appreciate that she has, you know, 21 years of experience in the trade already. So there's a lot for me to pick up on and learn. I think if, if you don't want to sit behind a desk all day, which is something I don't want to do. I like being outdoors, and, and um, we're outdoors all day long, you know, when we do these solar power plants here. Well, for me, I, desk job, done that for years and everything else. Now it's boring and I fall asleep. Out here, I like to use my hands, move around, do things that I really am passionate about electrical work. There's a lot of different jobs out here to do besides the wiring and stuff. There's the panels. It's a lot more out here to do than simply throw the panels and, and do the wiring. Actually working with the guys for me personally is like a motivation to prove that I could keep up, you know, and I don't have to be treated like a girl because I'm a girl, that I could also do the same work that the guys are doing. These projects that we have right here, they're all going to be uh, serving this community, uh, bringing power in and, and um, clean, green jobs. I don't like being inside an office stuck behind a computer. I don't like that. I like to be outside on the field. I like to be hands-on, moving. You're moving your body. You're, you're exercising, lifting stuff. Your mind is always busy. I've learned that I can do more than I thought I could. I can pick up weight that I didn't think I could before. Being in this trade, you, you, you build up muscle. You have strength that you didn't think you had. Women have a tendency to have a little bit more feelings. So with that, we need to, you know, toughen them up a little bit and just realize, you know, we want to make a change. And so we're stepping into the, the male industry. So with that comes us to be a little bit harder. You see in our craft that all of our members are skilled. We have outstanding training. Women come in and undertake the same training as the men. Uh, get paid the same as the men and they have a skilled, skilled craft for a career uh, in a middle-class job. 
in Los Angeles, and uh, that's really saying something. To become a site superintendent, I took uh, every action and I learned everything that I could, every opportunity I could uh, to get out on different jobs and learn different material. I put in 110% hard work uh, to get to where I am now. Women can do it. I mean, uh, I, I don't know where the idea came that women can't. We're not all frail little flowers that you know, will wilt at the thought of hard work. I love it. It feels very fulfilling. It helps boost my confidence to be doing something new and to have a trade. I, have, I feel like I have a skill now. I have, you know, something about myself that I can offer. I think before I, I learned how to be mechanical, I would see things in, in just one way. And when you learn how to be mechanical, you look at the whole thing. It teaches you how to look at things at several different angles. It's interesting how learning to be mechanical can have such an impact in different areas of your life. It's a good amount of math as far as bending conduit. We do use math for that. It's not as easy as people think. I think we're going to get ready to pull some circuits to move them through the electrical room to the right panels. I would not ask my apprentice to do anything I wouldn't do myself. And I always tell him, I always want your input too. I was also very serious about the work. So I think a lot of them respected me for that because I was, I just dove in and did everything that needed to, be, that was required of me. And I did it with enthusiasm. By the grace of God, with this, this union has, and with the support of the other union members, I've been able to take care of my family and be able to financially be responsible and just be a better, well-rounded person. My son knows that this has been uh, what's held our, our family together. It allowed me to give my son the life that he deserved. I brought my son by the job site Saturday. We couldn't come in, but I just rolled around the perimeter to let him see, you know, some of the things that we're doing here. He thought I was cleaning up. He was like, oh, okay, you clean up here. But I was like, no, I don't clean up. You know, I'm actually working like one of the guys doing electrical work. And he was, he was excited. He was proud of me. Benefits of being part of the union is, especially me as a woman, I could say that they respect you. Being a part of the union as a woman, they give you your, your opportunity to grow. I'm able to put my daughter through nursing school. I mean, it's very expensive. I'm able to pay my mortgage. I'm able to do things and go on trips I wasn't able to before. It was a great decision because it made me able to support myself and to be independent, and that's what I was looking for. The women of our local are tremendous. They're activists, they care about their union, about their careers, and about themselves. Great trade unionists. For us here in Local 11, there's a tremendous amount of support from the leadership, from the business manager, Marvin Kropke, down to all of the staff um, and sort of reiterating that this is a safe environment for anybody regardless of our differences, whether it's gender, race, um, whether you're gay or straight. We're able to get through school, we'll be able on the job, we're able to get training. It makes all the difference in the world. I think it's important that our union supports women, gives the women a chance to uh, rise up in the uh, fields and, and become supervisors. Society is changing and luckily the union goes with it and the electrical contractors are there to back us up. Unions are more progressive and more reflective of their membership now and that there is more opportunity because of that and that to participate and be active in it, this is what young people are looking for. In my life I've always been a person that likes to give back to my community and to my fellow people. If you can't give it you can't get it type thing. And you need to give of yourself and help the, help the other people in the trade like our apprentices. That's the key part, being able to help the people in my community. Um, I like to volunteer and inform the people so that, hey, you can have the same opportunity I have. I have on today one of our shirts that we had at our com women's conference. And it says sisters in solidarity. That means the sisters to stick together. That we're we're a, a, a solid bonded group of women that can, you know, help other women and even help the men. And if you love this work and you're willing to do the work, it really doesn't matter what size you are or what you look like, um, you can be extremely successful. I just want to say one more thing. 
to all the women out there who want to have a great career, go into the, become a union electrician. If I can do it, you can. You'll be surprised at how successful you could be.